In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect into the Hack the Box Cyber Range platform using a Windows machine to level up your career and learn those cybersecurity concepts. Coming up. Hey everybody, so we've covered Hack the Box on this channel multiple times before, and I've gotten a couple requests around how to connect into the platform using a Windows-based operating system. So I wanted to make this video to complement that. Now, I do want to point out most people using offensive, you know, learning offensive security techniques will tend to use Linux-based operating systems like Kali or Parrot OS, and it's really because a lot of the tools in that space are written to run on Linux, uh, and that doesn't mean they can't work on Windows operating systems, as we'll see. If you are going to go into the field, you may want to uh, start getting comfortable with those Linux-based operating systems as well, because it's really going to help you in the long run. If we haven't met, my name is Gerald Osier. This is Simply Cyber, the YouTube channel designed to help you make and take a cybersecurity career further faster. And on this channel, we talk to experts in the industry, and we also do technical labs like today. So if that's interesting to you, be sure to hit subscribe. We push videos every Monday at noon. Let's talk a second. With Hack the Box, like I said, I did that video on how to connect in with Linux, but because people were asking for Windows, I wanted to set it up. So let's take a look. Okay, so what you're looking at right now is a Windows-based uh, operating system that I built up in AWS just so we can have that platform. You can see here it's Windows Server 2019 uh, Data Center Edition. It doesn't matter. Windows 10 will work, Windows 7, whatever Windows operating system you got. I just wanted to show you what we're doing here. So what you first need to do is get access to hack the box platform. Now, if you haven't done this before, I've already made a whole video on this and I'll put a card right up here. Just jump to 11 minutes and five seconds in that video and it will show you exactly how to get access and then come back here. So you should be logged into the hack the box platform at this point, right? And we're accessing it through a web browser. So one of the things that you're gonna need to do um, first is go ahead and go over to openvpn connect uh, or openvpn.net and download under their VPN client section right here, download the OpenVPN Connect for Windows, right? So once you download it, you'll get this uh, Windows installer file. Just go ahead here, we'll run it really quick so you can see what it looks like. Right, so I've already installed it, so it's not gonna let me, but you just click next, 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 and you'll be good to go, all right? So once you've got that, go ahead and open it up. Okay, so you're gonna open OpenVPN up. Now I've got two profiles here, yours will be blank, don't worry about that, we'll get that in a second. Now going back over to Hack the Box, what you want to do is you're going to want to navigate down to Labs, then go to Starting Point. Now the Starting Point are basically really easy systems to just kind of get you comfortable with the Hack the Box platform. And if you're new to offensive security or pen testing or you're just trying to learn some skills, this is where you really want to start. It's aptly named Starting Point. On the right, you'll see Connect a Starting Point with VPN or Pwn Box, right? So click on that. Now. OpenVPN is the option we're going to use. There's also Pwnbox, but I think that requires you to pay, right? So Hack the Box has free and paid services. We're going to use OpenVPN because I know it's free. You click it. You choose your appropriate area, right? So I'm in the United States, so I will choose the U.S. starting point. Okay, I had to click it. And I know I'm going to get some comments about how hard it is to see. I'm doing the best I can. Okay, so once that button turns green, you're gonna download the VPN. This is the VPN profile that will allow you to use OpenVPN to connect into their lab, right? Into their range. So click download. So when you click download, you'll get this download of an OVPN file, right? This is the VPN profile. Now I wanna point something out here for troubleshooting purposes. You'll notice it says starting point, Jerry Guy 311. Yours will say starting point and then your username. This is a VPN profile into the starting point machines. If you go around to like the other areas on the platform, you'll have to download a different VPN profile, right? So if you didn't know that, it can lead to some confusion. So go ahead and download the VPN profile. Now we're gonna connect in. So let's open our open VPN profile. We're gonna click the plus symbol or you know get to add, go to file, browse, and you can drag and drop the file if it's easier for you. But basically, you can see I have the, the lab VPN profile and the starting point, but the starting point's the one we just downloaded, right? So go ahead and select the starting point one and install it or connect it, right? And you can see I've already got that profile right here. So for you, it may already turn on automatically when you load it up, but I'm gonna turn it on right now. 
right now I am connecting a network connection into the Hack the Box lab platform. There you go, I'm connected in. Now, what does this mean? You can see I'm, I'm pushing traffic, that's a good sign. Now, now we have a VPN connection, right? Now, let us choose archetype, right? So click on archetype. So when you click on archetype, you'll get this side panel punch out. You'll wanna click on join machine. You can see it's joining. And there we go. So we've joined the machine and this is the IP address of the machine. You can tell that this is a, you know, RFC 1918 non-routable IP, right? So this is your on their private network range, 101027. We are, like this is it. We are in Hack the Box. We have now connected to their VPN and we have fired up a machine that we can now access, right? So let's test it. Again, I'm gonna run uh, Nmap, which is a pretty standard first tool when you're doing reconnaissance, but because it's a Windows environment, I've got ZenMap here, and we're gonna hit scan. And you can see already Nmap, or ZenMap, whatever you wanna call this one, is already finding open ports, right? 139, 135, 1433. All right, so you get the idea. We basically have successfully connected in, and we're able to scan the server with Nmap, which means we can do whatever we want now, right? We have access to that box, or we can, we can reach out and touch it. Now, something else I wanna show you is if you're having trouble or if you're new to the, um, to the to the world of pen testing, and this is you trying to break in, right? Check this out. Over here on the far right, they have walkthroughs, which is fantastic, right? So you click on this PDF, and a walkthrough is basically gonna show you step-by-step step how you can own this machine, right? So it's a PDF. Go ahead and download it and check it out. And you can see they've got this really, really nice, well-written walkthrough for archetype, and it shows you like you could know nothing about how to do any of this stuff and all you have to do is follow the instructions. You put this in, this is for Nmap, not ZenMap, but you can copy and paste this directly into ZenMap. You can run it and you can see and you can begin to understand exactly how to compromise this machine, right? Maybe you walk through it once by yourself, then you close it, relaunch the machine and attempt to do it again and see where you get hung up, right? That's gonna do it for this week. Check out this video right here. If you wanna learn how you can use this Hack the Box platform to parlay it into getting hard skills to be a penetration tester in our industry, it's it's fantastic. And I did the video with Hackersploit, who's a really great contributor to the environment. All right, thanks so much. And until next time, stay secure.